Hi, good morning. Today is uh, Wednesday, December 5th, 2018, the Wednesday of the first week of uh, Advent. Just want to introduce uh, a saint to you. Um, for those of you who know me, I have a great affinity for St. Josemaria Scriva and Opus Dei, and uh, I found their, uh, his writings to be very, very helpful. Uh, the priest retreat that I attend each year uh, is conducted by Opus Dei as well. And uh, one of the beautiful things about Opus Dei is, uh, uh, unfortunately, they aren't in my area, in the Sioux Falls area, um, but um, they have a podcast. I think it's called the St. Jose Maria Institute Podcast. And uh, wonderful reflections, about half hour in length a piece, um, easy you know, to, to listen to on a drive. Uh, to and from somewhere, really roots you, gives you some you know basic things to think about and reflect on. So I uh, wish to introduce to you uh, this little booklet. Uh, it is called Praying the Rosary with St. Jose Maria Escriva. And um, so I wish to, I'm going to read eventually uh, each of the joyful mysteries of the rosary because that's where we're at in Advent. So this, re this uh, video will be rather brief, but um, hopefully it'll give some, some food for thought for you. He writes, Don't forget, my friend, that we are children. The lady of the sweet name, Mary, is absorbed in prayer. You and that house can be whatever you wish, a friend, a servant, an onlooker, a neighbor. For the moment, I don't care to be anything. I hide behind you and full of awe, I watch what's happening. The archangel delivers his message. Comodo fiat istud coniam virum non cognosco. But how can this come about since I am a virgin? Our mother's voice reminds me, by contrast, of all the impurities of men. Mine too. And then how I hate those low, mean things of the earth. What resolutions? Fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum, let it be done to me according to your word. At the enchantment of this virginal phrase, the word became flesh. The first decade is about to end. I still have time to tell God before anyone else does. Jesus, I love you. As we reflect on this uh, uh, joyful mystery of the rosary, you know, one, one thought that comes to my mind is, um, I guess, the, the reality of uh, Mary had that first opportunity to love Jesus uh, in, in the incarnate form. And, you know, as I have uh, seen women became, become mothers for the first time, and perhaps for the, you know, second or third or however many times they've had children, you know, there's a beautiful um, way of life uh, that a pregnancy goes through. Obviously, rather difficult. Um, I have not, nor will I ever bear children. But uh, the sacrifices that a mother makes, but also the joys that she can experience throughout pregnancy is remarkable. So if we reflect on the fact that Mary was pregnant. She carried our Lord for nine months uh, to his birth. She had that time to reflect on, uh, care for, and love uh, our Lord and Savior, her Lord and Savior as well. So uh, each mother has a very unique contact or a unique, unique tie to our Blessed Mother uh, in the fact that uh, they, they share that, that commonality. They are mothers. They bore children. So uh, this morning I, I, it just kind of came to my mind that I should pray for couples who are expecting children. And I renew that today as well. I pray that anyone who is pregnant right now uh, is healthy, that the doctors and nurses that are caring for them uh, are doing the best they can to help them have a good uh, and safe pregnancy and uh, a, a very joyful birth when that time comes. So as we uh, turn to uh, our Blessed Mother, uh, the vessel of uh, we could say her, you know, she is the Ark of the New Covenant. Uh, so we ask for her prayers, we ask for her guidance, 
And we ask that we may imitate her example of saying yes to God, even in the midst of fear, perhaps, and even in the midst of uh, not knowing what might come uh, of this situation. We pray that we may not fear, but we may trust in God's providence and his will for our life. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and Seed of Wisdom, pray for us.